In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually stylize and design your Squarespace site. I know what you're thinking. Up to this point, it's been all the boring kind of laying things out and all the settings and everything. But you want to make your site look good. After all, that is a pretty important part of a website. So what we're going to do here is actually go in and start to stylize and design our site. And to do that, we actually need to be on the preview side of our site. So we're going to come up here in our navigator and we're going to click on this eye, this preview icon right here. And what that's going to do is that's going to bring us to our current website as it exists today. And so once we're here on the site, we notice that it's pretty bland and there's kind of doesn't really look like a decent website at all. But we're going to fix that. So what we're going to do to style our site is we're going to come down here and we're going to click on this little paintbrush that says change style. And this a lot it says change the visual style of your site, adjust the fonts, colors, sizes and more. So we're going to click on this paintbrush and here it's going to bring up what is called the style editor. May take a bit to load this part of the site. Squarespace is a little slower, but there we go. So here you're going to see this kind of side window pops up where you can still see your site on the right. But if you scroll down, you're going to see a ton of different options, uh, all these different parameters, colors, and things you can change about your website. Now, the thing is, that the parameters and all of the options that are in here are actually specific to whatever theme you're using. So if you install the different theme, uh, I'm on five right now, but if you install the different theme, you may have a whole different set of parameters or different ways to affect the style and design of your website. Uh, so for example, right here, there is one for site width. And if I scroll down here, I can kind of click on this and I can actually adjust the site width as you know and you can kind of see what changes you're making as you go through the process. Um, you can change some there's a lot of settings you can change for instance I can make the canvas setting full width or I can make it site width to where the bar doesn't go all the way across um, and there's just a handful of different settings that you can kind of go through on this. Uh, to be honest I'm not going to go through everything here. I'm not going to stylize this uh, or show you the entire process because really every single theme is different here. And really the best thing that you can do to stylize and design your site is to come here and just play with every single option. Uh, just go through here and just see you know, what are these different parameters? What are these doing? How are these affecting things on the site? And uh, a little trick, if you are saying say you're struggling to figure out how to change something, uh, if you're in the style editor and you come over here and you click on any section, that will actually then only pull up the parameters for that section. So I just clicked on the navigation right here. And now I right here I have all the parameters surrounding the navigation. So I can change my navigation spacing to make it thicker or smaller. I can change my logo height right here. And then if I want to go and actually edit my page content, I can click down here. And now I have my main content and everything as well. So again, it's pretty, pretty simple. And then if you ever want to get back to all of your settings, you click the show all option up here on the top. Um, so again, it's pretty simple. Really, it's something, like I said, you just have to play around with to really start to get a feel of this and understand how this all works. Um, every theme's a little different, but the one thing that is the same on all the themes are very similar is you are going to have this main content section. And with this main content section, one of the things you're going to notice is the heading one, heading two, heading three, and body text. Every single theme will at least have these options here. And earlier when I was explaining to you uh, how to do fonts in Squarespace, and I talked about the different heading sizes, well, this is how you adjust to those parameters. Uh, so right here, the pick buggy story, if we click on this, this is a heading one. So I can click on this heading one right here. 
and here it pulls up all my options for my font. So I can go down here and I can choose a different weight of the font. I can choose a different font size, a different line height, I can do text transform, uh, letter spacing, anything along these lines. But I want to be point out to note that this is changing this to every single heading one across the entire website. So when I change this on a font, uh, if I have another heading one on a different page, then it's going to affect that heading one as well. So these are kind of actual general parameters that go across all of the, the different sections on your site. And in a lot of ways, this is a good thing because it kind of keeps your website consistent, it keeps it professional looking, and it keeps it up to the web standards. Um, but really, that is um, this is it. I mean, this is how you. This is the big bulk of Squarespace. This is one of the main features. And in a future class, I'm actually going to go through every single theme and explain the parameters individually. But for this one, my best advice to you is to simply go through, play with these parameters, test out all the different options, and just work with it until you get a site that looks like you want it to look.